We're going to create this website in our updated Elementor tutorial for beginners. To get started, you can go to elementor.com, link in the description, or if you already have hosting, you can add Elementor like you'll see me after I install WordPress on my domain. We buy all of our domains from porkbun.com, the sponsor of today's video. Besides having one of the lowest prices for domains, another benefit is they give you a free 15 day WordPress hosting trial so you can install WordPress and Elementor, build your website, and then decide if you'd like to pay for hosting or not. Who knows, maybe instead you decide to build your website with one of the website builders mentioned in this video here. Porkbun has straightforward pricing and low cost renewals. A .com domain costs $11.06 for the first year, as well as for the annual renewal. If you use the link in the description or the code thefigco 24 at checkout, you can get a dollar off the first year. Your domain purchase with Porkbun includes who is privacy protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, and amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. With other domain registrars, you could pay up to twice as much for your domain, and for some, another $9 to $15 per year for privacy protection. Here's our domain dashboard with Porkbun. If you click on details, you'll get all these other options. Along the bottom, you'll see web hosting, Click on Manage. Here they have Easy WordPress, a free 15-day trial, then as low as $2.50 per month. I'll click on Select the Plan. For this tutorial, I'm just going to go with the Starter Monthly Plan. Here it's creating temporary credentials to be able to log in to WordPress. Here to log into my WordPress account, I'll click on Direct Admin Login. It looks like there's an updated version for WordPress. Why don't I update that right now? Click on Please Update Now. And then update to version 6.6.2. Go back to the dashboard. Looks like there's a notification for plugins. Why don't we see what's already been installed? Some anti-spam protection. Let's just get rid of this. To add Elementor, hover over plugins. Then below, I'll click on add new plugin and type in Elementor into the search. Here it is. Let's install it. Once it's been installed, click on activate. If you already have an Elementor account, you can connect your account down below or click on create my account. I'll set up my account with an email and password. Then here you just click on connect, which is essentially connecting your domain to your new Elementor account. Here I'm going to continue with the hello theme. Right now I'm not going to sign up for Elementor Pro. I'm just going to skip this and use Elementor's free plan. You can either create your website starting with a blank page or use one of their templates. I don't like starting from scratch. Why don't we choose one of their templates? You can see most of the templates are for Elementor Pro. Let's filter kits by plan and just check out the free templates. Maybe this local services wireframe. Yeah, I think this template will be a good starting point. If you're happy with the template, click on apply kit. Your kit is now live on your site and click on close in the bottom right hand corner. Let's start building our website, starting first with the home page. To view all the pages that have already been created, you wanna click on pages here and you can see we have a contact us, global styles, home, our services, our story, privacy policy, and sample page. To get started with the home page, if you hover over it and then click on edit with Elementor. The first thing I want to do is to replace the figcotutorials.com text with the logo. We're going to build a website for jjthalen.com, my personal brand. So let's add that logo. To do that, you want to click on site settings, which is this icon right here. Then a little over halfway down, you'll see site identity. You can update the site name, fill in the site description, as well as add the site logo and a favicon. Click on the plus icon, and here's where you can add media. I'm going to drag and drop our logo. And then while I'm at it, why don't I drag and drop the favicon? I'll click on the logo and then click on select in the bottom right hand corner. Then click on the plus for favicon, select the favicon, and click on select. Then click on save changes at the bottom. And if we refresh this, you'll see it added the logo, but then it seems like it has the site description as well. Let's go back into site identity and delete the site description. Save changes, refresh. All right, so the text is gone now. We just have the logo. Let's make it a bit bigger though. To increase the size of the logo, click on hello theme header. Then you'll see site logo here. And let's increase the logo width, something like that. Save changes. Now let's start updating things. The headline will change to my name. This subheadline will change to entrepreneur, YouTuber, and personal finance expert. Now let's update the background. To do that, click on the dots at the top of the section. And then here we want to select style and let's choose an image. Click on upload files, drag and drop the image I want to use, and then click on select. 
Yeah, that's not too bad. I realize the text here is almost impossible to read. We'll update that in a few minutes. First, let's work on this button. So I'm gonna use this to sell our beginner YouTuber course. So why don't we update the button to say, launch your YouTube channel. We'll link that to the sales page for our course, channellaunchroadmap.com. And if we wanna add an icon, you can click on icon library. And why don't we add a rocket? And it looks like you can have the icon at the beginning or the end, let's add it to the end. Then under style, let's change the color of the button. How about something red like the YouTube button? We also wanna update the color that'll be used when you hover over the button. Why don't we change that to something somewhat similar, another red color. And then here for the hover, it actually gives us two colors that are gonna be blended together. So we'll have a darker and a lighter red color. You can also add a hover animation to the button so the button will move in some way, depending on the action you choose. I'll go with Bob. And then why don't I change this to our YouTube channels? And then the subheading could say, my team and I create content about marketing, personal finance, and starting a business. So you can see there are four image boxes along the right-hand side. I can click on and then delete the fourth image box, and now we have three columns. So what I wanna do here is replace the images with videos, and then list out the name of the channels and a description of the channel. It doesn't seem like it's gonna work, what I think I could do is just create a grid and replicate something that looks like this, but with the videos. I'll drag and drop a grid. Then I can drag and drop video elements into the top row of my three by two grid. The next thing I could do is add a heading row where I drag and drop a heading element to each one of the columns. And then in the third row, I can have a description for each of the channels. You know what though, I don't really like the spacing. I don't see an easy way to make these columns not as tall. So why don't I delete this second row? And then with a the text, I can change the text from normal paragraph text to heading text. And I can have the name of the channel as well as the description. And each one is formatted a little bit differently. So something like that I think looks better. Then in the third row, I wanna add a button in each of the columns that'll take someone to the individual channel pages. And then the button below, why don't we delete that? It doesn't fit here anymore. And then here, if I click on the pencil icon, I can update the YouTube URL for the video I wanna use. Here's one for the Figco, one for greater than enough, and a video for beginning of a business. Okay, so if you hover over the button, you can see the text, but it's invisible otherwise. That seems a little bit strange. Let's make some changes here. Let's update these buttons. The text I wanna to change to view channel, then click on style, change the position to centered in the column. Then let's focus on the text. Right now the text color is invisible. If we click on text color, let's change it to white. If we click on the button along the right hand side, it'll allow us to copy this button. And then for the other buttons, what we could do is paste the style. So it'll change the color, as well as center it. It'll speed up the process a little bit. Then update the text to save view channel. Then to add the channel URL to the button, click on content and then copy and paste the URL. Also being this is taking someone off of a web page, I may wanna have this open in a new tab. Then I'll do the same for the other two channels. This section we're gonna to use to sell our YouTube course for beginners, channel launch roadmap. We can have the heading ask, ready to launch your YouTube channel. And then below in 48 hours, the channel launch roadmap will help you. And then I only wanna have three columns instead of four. So let's delete the fourth benefit and then start filling these in. Now let's add a button below the three benefits. It's not letting me easily add that where I wanted to. Why don't I add the button up above and then this container I can drag up above the button. Oops, I took it too far. Then move the text above the container. Okay, yeah, something like that. First, we'll update the text to ready for takeoff. Then add the rocket icon, move it to the right-hand side. Then under style, we can change the text color to white so it's actually visible. Then the button color, we'll make that red. Hover, white text, red button. Then make the button bob when we hover over it. That's what the animation will look like. Center the button, and that looks a lot better. This section will delete. This one too. Now, why don't we take a look at some of the global styles? First, the colors. Here's where you can customize the system colors. You have primary, secondary, body text, and accent colors. I don't know if I wanna update these global colors for the top of the web page that has the image behind it. Maybe I just wanna update the individual 
text to a different color and leave the global colors how they are. Here I can change this color from blue to white. Also this one, blue to white. Why don't we now preview the website? Not a bad start. Also, when you're previewing the website, don't forget to check it out on a tablet and a mobile phone. Yeah, this section we don't need, let's delete it. Why don't we update this footer? It just says copyright 2022, all rights reserved. Under site settings, here's the footer. Why don't we add our logo? And then the copyright text, we can also update to 2024 and put 2024 JJ Thalen. Maybe change the background color, then save changes. Now let's work on the header. So we have the site logo, the menu, and then now we need to select which menu. So we have the primary menu and then save changes. If you wanna see what that's gonna look like, hit refresh. Now you can see along the right hand side, we have home, our services, our story, and contact us. Let's just refresh again. I don't know what happened to the blue text instead of white. Oops, little malfunction here. Let's go back to editing the homepage. That was strange, but it looks like everything was saved properly. We can just go ahead and publish the page to make sure everything's been saved correctly. All right, so the menu showing now, we have home, our services, our story, and contact us. I'm not gonna work on all these pages now, so I don't want all this to show up. Let's now update the menu to only have home and contact us. You wanna go back to the WordPress dashboard. Then under appearances, you'll see menus. And right here is the primary menu. And what we wanna do is delete the ones that we don't want showing up on the menu. So our services and our story. Remove and remove. Save menu, go back, refresh. And then here's our not yet updated contact us page. Well, the logo's a bit bigger than I thought it would be. Let's update that. To make a change, we wanna go back into site settings, click on hello theme footer. And then for the logo width, maybe something like 200 pixels, save changes. Let's check out the homepage and the logo is quite a bit smaller. Obviously we wanna either change the logo color or the background of the footer so that you can actually read the logo well. But for today's tutorial, this will work. If you need a domain or wanna transfer your domain to Porkbun to save a dollar off the first year, don't forget to use the code thefigco 24 at checkout. The website I built with Elementor was okay. Honestly, I'd rather not deal with WordPress. I prefer to just use an easy to use website builder. If you wanna see which website builders are my favorite, check out this video right here. See you in another video. Bye-bye.